Hello, greetings, Sarah Jawad again, continuing. But let's see what title I put. Oh, because uh, what uh, what was the last title of part two? The, uh, Islam, yeah, saving Muslims from Islamic punishments, Sharia laws, crackdown, appeal for crackdown of Sharia laws and all. See, I'll show you why. Uh, I have to reach the last part, which I forgot. And of course, no, I'm going step by step, copying my religious zakirs. <gasps> oh, sorry, I'm in a shock. But I have to carry on. This much, this much, I have to complete. Last part of uh, Surah Nur Ayat 33. Why no punishment? I often wondered, rereading that ayat part, why no punishment? <sighs> because you know, no messenger of Allah last in my last dream. Last dream? <laughs> this is a dream, seem. No, it for me it seems very real. Last part, no, last video, part two. Saving Muslims, dot, dot, dot. I said, what did I say? Because God can't control, but his messenger even, and even if the imams fail to control, like to uh, distinguish between uh, the ones compelled into prostitution and the ones who desire to, are willing to, see, in our majlis, we don't complete a sentence. Akalman ko ishara kafi hai. They say in Urdu, like an intelligent being, only it is enough, the sign is enough. You are intelligent enough now. I trust you. You are intelligent enough. Even God didn't trust us. The God, Allah. But I trust you, you are intelligent enough to finish this. Complete the sentence. So, why the punishment has not been mentioned there in the last part? And Allah says that Allah is most forgiving. If the Imams fail, Islamic Republic of Iran, I appeal to you. Muslim countries, I appeal to you. See this verse, please, see. Shias, I appeal to you, religious scholars, Quran experts. <laughs> see this verse. Are you intelligent enough to finish the sentence? I thought the Shias were. I believe the Shias were. Um, doesn't focus here. I'm not live stream with my better mobile on Facebook. Ah. Please pay attention, very, very serious. I have to take you step by step to a place where you can see how we have been deceived by Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. Well, 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 well. Oh. Here, if they wish to observe chastity, in order that you may seek the temporary benefit of the worldly life. If one compels them, then after they're being compelled, this is Medina, Medina. This is the time of the Prophet. And this is, the Quran is for all ages, but no, you, no, no, no. Punishment is due. What, what, if one compels them, 
then after they're being compelled okay Quran is for all ages if you fear sexual urges it is told to men and if you are single be patient it is better but um, if you want to then can't control them marry those women in Surah Nisa remember the ayat I can't give you the ayat number but I'm just giving you the gist of the ayat like that not I mean uh, not verbatim but in my words right oh if one compels them then after they're being compelled Allah is most forgiving, very merciful. Allah didn't say this mentioning rape in the Quran. Another point, forced sexual intercourse. But he says here, why? Or going, I have to go to a place Those Amita Bachchan, movie, scene, tum hami kya kehne aaya ho? Mein aap logon ko ye kehne aaya ho? Nahi nahi, tum samaj rahe ho? Ke, nahi nahi, ye tum, tumhe marna hai? Dekho, Islamic police is waiting. Jafri sect. Your Akaf is waiting. Hmm. Ah. Pata hai. I know. They can kush larkia Irani. Little girls, Iranian. And women, elderly women in Iran. Young women, women are also there, unjustly being lashed in certain cases of not wearing their hijabs properly, not going by these laws. I can't wait anymore. I have to tell you. Look at this ayat. In order that you may seek the temporary benefit of the worldly life. If one compels them, no punishment huh, is mentioned. Why? God consoles them that I am here. I am forgiving, most forgiving, very merciful. Because, well, 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 well. Because neither the messenger of Allah nor the Imam after the messenger of Allah can see through and see, have a police who, which woman has been compelled, which woman has wished, desired, is willing to complete the sentence. Okay, emotions are not good. I mean, emotionally taking you there. Now let's breathe deeply. Jai Gurudev and all that. Oh, just breathe because breathing anywhere in China also, just don't blame the Hindus right now. I had a book. It didn't say it's a Hindu book. Or what book? But it was about, you know, all this, how to hypno self-hypnosis and how breathing is scientifically known to help people. And all medically proven how, how to breathe properly. Huh? So sometimes a deep breath, a breath is better. Now I'm not taking you emotionally, like the Shias, uh, Majlises in Pakistan, Karachi, where I was. 
So, are you telling me that neither Rasulullah, yes, because, or nor the Imams thereafter, can distinguish which prostitutes would be compelled, which ones, because Islam is going to go, rules are going, going. I don't know why they say no prostitution, but here, this ayat tells me, this ayat, this part of the ayat, this whole thing. And the end also tells me, why no punishment? You will take, don't take me to zina punishments. Because this is about prostitution, compelling. This is worse than zina. Or uh, zina, fornication or adultery in English. Both single men and women and married men and women. Don't take me there to that ayat, uh, punishment. Please, this is prostitution under compulsion. Sorry, it's not focusing. What am I doing every time showing you? Do not compel. This is, do not compel. This is, don't take me to any other punishment. God should have mentioned the punishment here immediately. Later on also, he doesn't mention any punishment for this in the later, uh, later ayats. Why? Because these slave girls, I, I'm giving you the reason, I wonder if it will, you will understand. You will get it. It will sink. And you will get very angry at your own prophet. And thereafter, the Imams. And you will want to take off your hijab. You would want to drop this religion. So thank God we have an English Quran, English translation of this. It, it is not, I mean, yeah. I can't. Oh, no. Really? Yes. Look, they, they, sorry, that you may seek temporary gain of the life of the world. And whoever, see, God has covered so much, so much. We are told in a Quran ayat that if truth is like a, under, like layers of earth, many, many layers, or under many, many rocks, buried, maybe underwater. What was the verse? Uh, like, uh, what does it exactly say? I can't remember, sorry. But that uh, it will be found. So, compel them? Not. Then indeed, no, if someone compels them, sorry, I'm here now. I'm on the last part. And whoever compels them, then indeed Allah, after, after their compulsion, is of forgiving, most merciful. So yes, temporary marriages are there. See, our minds are going here and there. My mind is going neurotically because many things you might bring out and think, okay, no, no, no. How can, there, how can there be this thing? How can there not be a punishment here? Have you ever asked yourself another question? Except for what uh, Islam has buried, in, indoctrinated you with. Ask yourselves away from Islamic uh, thought. Shia thought, Sunni thought. How can there not be a punishment? for the compulsion, prostitution. This is like you are compelling these slave girls into prostitution. Forget zina. Zina is for 
fornication and adultery. We are deceiving ourselves. Because you see, if you go here and there, it's enough. Please see this. Oh, how, can I expo how can I explain? Expose and explain now. This is, ask a woman if she's compelled into prostitution. And then God is making it easier for the men, their sexual urges, to fulfill in mutta, just to keep them away from fornication and uh, zina and jello even just uh, include the women also and then there's a fear still if there's still a fear why does it surin he's covered everything mostly like that we say I, I don't know how much he's covered in the Quran one thing he didn't cover my ladies muslims i appeal to you pay attention with your whole heart mind with your heart mind and soul pay attention to this ayat huh i was shocked as a shia when i read this ayat Shocking silence. Get the girls out. I mean, of the... Yes, I mean it. I mean, get them out of this law and of this sharia. This whole thing has fallen. No punishment mentioned here for compulsion against men or anyone, even women compelling each other to prostitute into prostitution no punch punishment mentioned here why am I getting I, I think I'll go slower again I'm repeating huh is it boring have I captured your attention God give you everything Abad give you abundance, make you Khuda ko abad rakhe Khuda ap ki betiyon ko Khuda ap ki maon ko aur Khuda ap ki behenon ko Khuda apni aurton ko apni believing who are these slave girls Allah who are they No punishment mentioned. Could it be that what His Highness said that I don't have the answers for everything? In his interview, His Highness Aghan, the smiley Imam, Hazir Nazir, may God give him a, uh, a Why are you stopping me? Oh, they're stopping me, sorry. This force, I don't know why. Okay, um, so I just... Uh, maybe he wants to now go and rest. Oh, we'll miss him a lot. He was such a gentleman. Uh, okay, um, you see, I was shocked. When His Highness Aachan, the fourth present, said that uh, he doesn't have answers for everything. In his interview, I heard on YouTube. And so now I can't find it. Could it be that here in this verse, they would not be able to keep account? I will come to the ulama's. I hope I don't forget. Although Shia, Shia and so, excuse me, Muslim, uh, other ulamas may unanimously agree that there's no pros uh, compulsion nor even prostitution allowed in Islam. It's haram. 
is forbidden. So, but uh, here, no, you can't say that. Reading the site, compulsion into prostitution, compulsion of uh, of your maid servants into prostitution is not allowed. That's a command. But if they wish to observe chastity, so the choice is theirs. Now, so. Compulsion, forced prostitution is not allowed, but willing prostitution is allowed. Like if you're willing to prostitute yourself, it is allowed. Or being prostituted, it is allowed. Why the punishment is not mentioned here? Against those who would be prostituting these maids? Just taking this translation, maids. For now, in order, okay, why not? Uh, because it will be very hard for the for Prophet Muhammad or the Imams or his Sahabas to distinguish who is being compelled and who is willingly going into prostitution. Because now that prostitution is allowed, indirectly saying, here, very subtly put, but very well put, it might confuse many, majority of Muslims, Quranic uh, experts, Shia ulemas, who have given their whole life studying the Quran, in the life of Prophet Muhammad and Ahl al-Bayt, the Imams also, reading books upon books, writing books upon books. What have they failed here to see? It's on. I haven't paused it. I haven't had a pause break. Yes, it's playing this video. I wonder if it is straight. I get it all wrong, sorry. Do you see this? Do not compel your maids to prostitution if they wish to observe chastity. If they wish to observe chastity. Definitely compulsion of maid servants or maids or slave girls to prostitution is not allowed. Now what has been done? Allah has kept it on them if they wish to observe chastity. So if, for example, you take the rape section, oh no, make it very, very simple. What collapses if they wish to observe chastity? What collapses if they do not wish to observe chastity? See, if is very important, this phrase, this whole phrase is very important if they wish to observe chastity. You cannot embrace it right now. These are chaste. They wish to remain chaste. But those who don't wish to remain chaste. And I've explained everything now. Most points I've covered. I just So now I have to reach the last one also. Why punishment has not been mentioned in this ayat or later ayat for this compulsion. Which, th there's a command. Do not compel your mate. It's a command of Allah. Means prosti compelled, forced prostitution of these mates is forbidden. But, my dear ones, Shias, Sunnis, Muslims, anyone, Salafis, Wahhabis, you can't erase this. You can't bring a reform. You can't change the words and give me different, different translations. You can't do it. You failed. In Surah Abbasa, Sunni Muslims have put the Prophet frowned. He said, no, the Prophet didn't frown. Yes, there the Sunni Shias have won. 
in other words uh, you can you know mistranslations and all this but here you cannot change this if you put when even or whatever conjunction word but if when conjunctive word what do you call it this is a condi word that is you uh, what do they call in the grammar english grammar this word if they wish to observe chastity our prophet my former prophet of islam is allah allowing prostitution with consent You see, if the maids are willing to prostitute themselves, yes, it is open to this. This is what, just complete the sentence, if they wish to observe chastity, but if they do not wish to observe chastity, then they can go into prostitution for what? That you may see the temporary benefit of the worldly life. Trying to take alims out of this, to show them, correct them. 1400 years have passed. They've been blaming the Umayyads, 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 Jews of that time, pagan Arabs, idol worshippers. Why has the punishment not been given here? Ask yourselves this question. Not even in the latter, later verses. Why? Is it because it will be very hard for Prophet Muhammad, his Sahabas, the Imams to distinguish? What if someone, you see, if these uh, maids are willing and they don't want to remain chaste, they're willing to prostitute themselves for temporary worldly gains. Yeah, one, two, maybe compelled and then perhaps, you know, we might miss out that, oh God, one has been compelled and we didn't uh, see it. So there, we are told here, then what are we told? Rem uh, cons consolation is, then after they're being compelled, Allah is most forgiving, very merciful. And about most forgiving like you, but this is the consolation Allah gives them. But they don't have to be, they don't have to be. But you see, one says that the way probably one is, uh, what do you call it, groomed into prostitution or seduced. You see, Quran ayat, no, no. The whole Islam says, do not do this, cover yourself so that you will be safe from adultery, fornication, and you will not also keep the other men safe from you, uh, committing this adultery, fornication, if they see your skin, part of you, your body. So be very, very conscientious women, Muslim women, be very, very conscientious, believing Muslim women, are very, very conscientious of their surroundings and their responsibilities and duties. And it, Islam, what it does is that person said it well in English, and this is what I've read also and heard in Majlises. Anything that leads you to this indecent act is stopped. Anything that leads you to these satanic indecent acts, Islam stops them. Right? Anything. Uh -huh. Oh. But here in English and the Arabic, I don't know. I confess. So I'm taking word by word, right? In Arabic. That you may seek the worldly temporary gain of this life. 
of the world, of the world. Is it dunya or what is it? Dunya. Yeah, it is dunya. Woman. And whoever Yukrihunna. compels them, Fa'inna. then indeed Allah, Allah Min. after after their compulsion ghafurun, ghafurun is of forgiving rahim. rahim most merciful so what was the thought coming should have put a punishment here a very grave one worse than sinna and fornication because we say anything Indecency is wrong. And then the punishments are given to such great punishments. In Iran, they're lashing women in certain cases if a job is not worn properly or taken off. In rebellious way or some way, that there's a higher punishment for not wearing the hijab, which is lashing, highest perhaps. So... Oh my goodness, no. Uh, so what was I seeing here? So you see these punishments, this is what Islam has taught us, that these punishments are good. Example, exemplary, give them exemplary punishments and tell the world to stop the others also from doing such a thing. Do you think this process, we ourselves have said, the Shias, have written in the commentary section, multilingual Quran. This is a despicable act. What is despicable? No. What is for compelled is haram here. No, no. This, I'm right. The prostitution of for of these meat meats is on them. If they wish to remain chaste, you will take this chastity word, you are going to embrace it. And if they don't wish to remain chaste, please see the deception of your Allah in this Quran ayat. Because he did not say, he said, if they wish to observe chastity. And here I've caught him. Are And if they do not wish to remain chaste, he's silent on that, huh? Why? Because prostitution of maids is allowed. It's not compelled. It's not forced prostitution, Baba. Now shall I say it in Urdu? Dekhen. Idhar johena. Oh my God, I can't say it in Urdu, sorry. Uh, so I'll take a break. Prostitution is allowed. Prostitution, if under consent, willing, if you are willing, if you don't want to remain chaste, Are, Allah is saying this here. Allah has commanded, do not compel your mates to prostitution. This is a command. Compel. Please look at it. It does not say, do not prostitute your mates. It doesn't say that. What a clever way to put it, right? It says, do not compel your maids to prostitution. That's why here, then the other word is, phrases, if they wish to observe chastity. Because prostitution under consent by the maids is allowed. That's it. Very good. That's it. We did it. We saw it. Now again. You get it? 
And so, to reach the last part, where I was so shocked that no punishment, and, okay, this is, don't tell me that for us wives, if husbands beat us, we are good Muslim women. We will do sabr. We will do jihad. We will be good, better. We will be more obedient. We will, our husbands hit us. We will love them more. This is our jihad, Zahra. We are mu'mineen, mu'minat. What's the female one? We are al mumin We are the mu'min, believing women. We will do jihad. You see, even if you say that to me, you will, okay. You're saying that, right? But shouldn't Allah the Almighty say, hey, don't prostitute these maids. Inko prostitute ni karna. Randiya ni banana. Do not prostitute. Compel ni karo. Yani inko zabardasti nahi karo. Randi bazi mein. Yani inko zabar dasti nahi karo compel zabar dasti ya force kida likha hai force jo bhi hai wo iska matlab hai zabar dasti nahi karo idhar bhi yehi likha hai ki inko zabar compel nahi karo zabar dasti nahi dalo prostitution mein okay I have, I have a breakdown sorry I have to take a break